lovely morning again um, beautiful walk just got back and um, funny morning this morning Dax took ages to uh, to do its stuff and it was a real exercise in we're looking at US tech I know that we're looking it was a real exercise in um, patience and discipline but it just hammers home for me how uh, how well this this um, sort of traffic light trading system works um, it's it's just I keep hammering it home in these videos and uh, and um, tweets you, it, there's no substitute for watching price action and even now I'm continually learning new stuff I mean I was going to tweet something earlier today about the importance of just really this is the best situation to wait to trade from below zero to above because you are getting in at what I consider to be the optimum time. I'm talking about this to this or this to this in the opposite direction. And it is important and it's it's worth saying avoid if you avoid getting in late you're less likely to get burned so these are probably your a plus situations to trade um, you can see it on the RSI as well here and here and these are the areas you're going to get especially with something like uh, US well any of the indices in fact so I don't mention that very often uh, so I'll title this video wait for the best setups wait for a plus setups or something like that but i'm going to have a little ramble on now so anyway so um if you want to switch off that was the main point the most interesting point i should imagine um but i i want to talk also about um uh how i'm starting to uh find ways to try this as well because obviously this was a good opportunity even that bit there. Interesting. Um, we're looking at US Tech as well. That's seven or eight pips. Um, because it's moved so much nicer than um, the US 30. Whether that's just a one off. Dow, look, it's a mess. But I've got a nice trade first thing this morning. Um, and it was more, it, the, there was news today as well, 7 a.m. GBP news. It's been all week, basically, I think. And um, it's really made uh, the pre-Frankfurt uh, session a little bit tricky. It was really slow, like watching paint dry yesterday. Started off a bit slow. And then uh, just before the Brits uh, news, it um, took off. So... You can never, um, you can't, you know, you never stop learning, never stop seeing new stuff. No, you can, you just, another reason, it's important probably to have a method like this, in my opinion, because um, it will tell you when, when to take the trades, you know, these two arrows. And these are important as well. I don't, um, don't really emphasize that enough. I mean, if, if you wait for them, and never take trades when they're not there, or at least when it doesn't break uh, the level here, rather, um, you're less likely to make mistakes. You know, uh, even on M1, this is, this rather, is priceless. So it's all about the basics. It's all about um, uh, following the rules. I mean, this is beautiful. Compared to that mess, this is really nice. Drifted up and drifted down nicely. Uh, we've got the red arrow. That's um, uh, the, sorry, the pink arrow. That move just there is eight pips, eighty points, whatever. Um, and on a one-minute chart, it's um, it's going to be even faster. Let's have a look. It would have uh, triggered earlier as well. Clearly, you know, when you look at the good old line charts, you can see where your levels are. The last, that high, 
was created by that um, buying area there. So if the buyers are beaten, with a, there's a 3CR on this N5 as well. So once you get those, um, you know, once you get this configuration here, there'll be, yeah, there's divergence there as well. Um, <clears throat> I mean, you have to make a plan. You know, we should really have open close levels on there. Dean's lines, rather. And now we can clearly see we've hit a, um, a really strong area. Three lots of weekly open, 21st of the 7th, 28th of the 7th, weekly high, and a support level, 30th of the 6th. I mean, that's crazy. So it's broken it, but that would be a, probably a spike a wick, whatever you want to call it, above there, yeah, you can clearly see. So it's held, effectively. Price didn't close above it. It's behind my lines now, but, you know, you've got another. So this is good as well. Dean's lines, good old Dean's lines. Um, green, I absolutely love it when we've got green above. I've told you this before in a long trade because it's running up to test support. Was that 16th of the 6th so I doubt whether it's even been tested before so untested support is like uh, gold dust so if this comes back up through here it'd be interesting to see this uh, whether we go up to test that so it'd be worth looking at all the other indices as well uh, but not in this video to see what um, what's going on so that's a little note to self there um, Oh, if the person that commented on the videos being quiet, it may well be that I, they are a little bit quiet. I probably need to uh, dig out some old microphones. So I'm not sure. I'm moving the laptop a bit closer to me at the moment. But it's also, it has been raised before, and it's, uh, if I remember rightly, Firefox is a bad one. It's quiet. It might have some sort of internal volume control that I haven't, that I've had turned down, but Firefox, my Firefox is quiet, and the rest, three or four other browsers I use, Opera, Brave, or I've tested it on rather, um, the Microsoft One, I can't remember that, and Chrome are all fine. So um, Edge, Microsoft Edge. So um, if you're using Firefox, try another browser, guys, for the time being anyway. So, um, back to this uh, five minute, oh, that is, that's so lovely. And uh, we were putting some um, line chart levels on there, weren't we? So, you know, there's a nice level there. And uh, obviously a nice level over here. Um, that's enough for the moment. And, um, oh, might as well put that one the weekly close Dean's lines you superman thank you Dean if you're watching this at some stage so uh, and then go back the candles and it makes a lot more sense to have the line charts doesn't it and they are more powerful in my more powerful levels in my opinion so uh, although I haven't said that we can see the wicks, uh, we're doing some work there. So, um, it's, you know, you never stop learning. Never, ever stop learning. Divergence, lovely breakdown. Oh, we were going to look at the one minute after that 3CR, weren't we? So move that over. And get down on the one minute. And see what that looked like here. So lovely pullback with a uh, shooting star there. Behind the line a bit. Just beautiful. Back to those uh, levels of uh, weekly uh, support and resistance levels there. And then um, everything is broken the 17 level. Not strictly, not a 
well the bust and the bust down pull back and break and close was here and there's your pengaro so that shot down for A hundred ten eleven pips, hundred and eleven uh hundred and twelve points. Oh and scale for heaven. So um it's just as a scalper, you know, I built the ultimate system for myself, uh which is what I, I set out to do. Um and it's all really because of um the two B, Vic Spiralios two B. Uh the precision that the candles use the levels that he identified for us. And then I've just built on that. So um, that's it, guys. This um, I said it would be a bit of a long-winded rambling video, but um, it's... Oh, and, you know, I wanted to work out... I'm, I'm on a mission now for myself to work out an ultra-safe way to, as safe as I can, to uh, trade this scenario here. Um, but the point I made earlier, you can see clearly where the safest way is. I'm talking about the grey, the pullback, because you still get long moves with this being grey. So the, um, and it, for me, it's an area, because that's the whole point of this, because this is your fast move. And the safest move here, crossing the zero lines all the time, crossing the zero lines. And that's going to be where the um, 2B entries are, the, the Vic Sperandio ones, because that's the impulse move from the 2B uh, levels, which I drew in here. Uh, there's a low, oh, that was the two, one, two, three high low situation as well there. So, you know, and these, these are all new observations, you know, and it just gets better and better and better. So, um, you can't stop learning once you've got a, you know, there's a lovely two, uh, th one, two, three high low, two B and all the, the Vic stuff. And then a one, two, three high low inside the two B and that on the one minute will be its own two B. I may have talked about this one yesterday, but they're everywhere, aren't they? So uh, it's hard to dis discern which ones. You know, they're absolutely everywhere on every every GJ. You know, on the pairs I look at, and I need to keep. I need to change this uh, template to get EJ on there as well. I like that. So the whole video was really about that scenario and there because it gets us in to the 2b exactly we don't want to be getting in down here like this scenario um unless you're just trading you know like here unless you're trading this little 2b on m1 um and then you're trading just to you're trading from there to there um because you should never assume that just because this is a 15 minute to be it's going to go to target especially when it's against the trend that's just my you know it's it's an obvious observation getting in late here thinking oh well Vic said it should go there is dangerous because you're against the higher time frame trend we can use divergence to help us but there isn't actually any divergence there either which is another point that we should be looking for longs and these are giving us effectively discounted uh, long trades but then you have to take the time of the day into account as well we've got news again at 1 30 today uh, the American stuff I think anyway and we also have um, you know we're, we're in that uh, sort of what time is it now it's uh, 9.43, sorry, I was distracted by the GMT again. 9.43, so it's running up to the 10 o'clock uh, H4 close. Um, can get a little bit of fun there. Then we've got the 11 o'clock gold close. If gold doesn't move at 10, it's highly likely it might move at 11 with the new H4 on gold. Uh, all these little things. And then 11 till 
one traditionally for me is a bit of a sideways slack period but sideways on m1 means nothing you know i mean we can uh, we can still scalp it using the hourly and h4 and h2 if you like closes so every hour and even to a point every 30 minute gives us an opportunity and as i said yesterday every 45 minute you know quarter quarter to the end of the hour if you like 45 minutes past the hour it's 15 minute close and you know this morning i i used 15 minute close to um make an assessment on a particular on a dax long because um we know almost certainly every candle causes a pullback so you know if you've got uh, i don't know like this morning dax got up to something like 550 points just before a 15 minute close a big green 15 minute candle no damn well it's gonna almost certainly pull back and so take profits maybe there's so many strategies you can employ and then knowing that would pull back on that 15 minute candle you can make a make a a calculated guess at when or you know guess at what might happen if it's running up if it's the last 15 minutes in the hour because you can then um maybe add because i've built a view that the price often pushes on um to the the end of the hourly candle which will be potentially end of an h4 or an h2 so um you know it's endless endless screen time observations you know crossing the zero there to there on this 15 minute we're looking at this because i was going to look at the 2b but uh, there isn't that's the only kink in the up move the red candle so that is your um your line chart level there push up so that was the break of the first um sorry it's zoomed out a bit that was the break of the last of the buyers hitting that uh, supply area there and boom down it goes so it's easy to say in hindsight but we've got all the stuff on our charts and we know what we should be doing um and uh we saw what happened on m1 and m5 so call them ondos right okay uh that's it i've witted on enough it was all about this important this this is the most important to be entry styly here below zero to above zero you're getting in at the best possible point the safest point with all our you know because then you use multi-time frame analysis on these points look at that it just absolutely collapsed so we never stopped learning on this multi-time frame you know it said it, the earlier entry was the best but on the m15 we're just coming into the best so um you know make sure you you use every time frame at your um fingertips all right that's it thanks have a good uh, it's friday have a good weekend